You might have heard of the yield keyword in Python. The yield keyword is similar to the return keyword, but acts differently. The yield keyword temporarily freezes the execution and returns the value to the caller. Because it freezes the execution, the function's state is retained, allowing it to continue from where it left off. In general, yield is used in generator functions, or you can say that it is a generator function since it contains the yield keyword. Look at this generator function that generates numbers and returns them on demand. The generator function generate underscore numbers runs infinitely and yields numbers and returns them to the caller when requested. And each time the loop runs, the number is incremented by one. Now we can create a generator object like this and generate values by passing this object to the next function like this. Here, we use the next function twice, so we'll get the first two numbers. We can generate and print as many numbers as we want by adding more print statements like these. But what happened when the program encountered the first iteration and then the second one? Let's see how the execution flow proceeded. For the first iteration, the execution runs until it reaches the yield statement, after which the number is generated and returned to the caller, and the execution flow is instantly suspended. However, on the second iteration, the execution continued from where it left off, incrementing the number by one and then returning it. To improve understanding, we inserted debug messages at various points in the code to determine how the execution is proceeding. We'll get this output. It clearly shows after returning zero, the execution is suspended, and for the second iteration, the execution continues from where it left off. All right, this made it clear that yield suspends the execution and retains the state of the function which allows the execution to continue from where it was left. This behavior makes it easy to generate and return a value when requested.